Hello everyone, today I'm going to set up a tutorial for beginners so we can use a reusable pool of bullets for any uh, bullet heaven or bullet hell game which is a core system so basically this works exactly like creating a bullet so we're instantiating a bullet and then when we don't need it anymore we're gonna queue free so it works exactly the same so the bullet will be active instead and then the bullet is gonna be inactive and this is 10 times better than performing than doing the first method so first we're gonna define the available pool array then we're gonna define the use pool array and then we're gonna grab the reference of the bullet which is the enemy bullet and then we're gonna count the initial amount of bullets that we're gonna place in the game so we're gonna create init bullets here and then for each in range available bullet count we're gonna set the bar bullet equals to bullet enemy bullet dot instantiate and then we're gonna grab a child function and we're gonna place the bullets at last we're gonna set the array available which is this function here and calling here we're gonna see if um, okay let's see yeah so basically it's for child in get children available pool append we're gonna append to the array every child inside this node and at last we have the get bullet method which is replacing the instantiate so if we have available pull bullets if the size is greater than zero we're gonna call a bullet bar bullet equals to available pool dot pop back the pop back is a uh, internal built-in function of Godot which is gonna grab the last value of the available pool and it's gonna remove it from the array and then grabbing that value we're gonna use the use pool and we're gonna append that specific bullet because it's being used at the moment and we're gonna return that bullet so we got the reference of the bullet if we don't have any bullets in the array we're gonna print not available bullets and then we're gonna return null with that being said let's go into the main in the main we're gonna set the variable speed at 300 we're gonna create this one which is the left click once we press it on the on handle input 
what's gonna happen is that we're gonna call inside the pull bulletas which is here we're gonna call the function get bullet so that's replacing the instantiate as I mentioned and then we're calling the instructions inside the bullet and then we're grabbing the position of the mouse and the speed which is 300 so inside the bullet we got a timer and we got a sprite once this timer runs out it's gonna queue free but instead of queue free we're gonna set inactive at the beginning we're setting inactive as well because we don't want the bullets to uh, move around without being called at the beginning of the game if that makes sense if uh, yes so when they are inactive we're gonna scale to one so that's the regular size of the node and we're gonna grab the position to be on vector zero zero we're gonna set the process to false and when we set it active we're gonna set the process to true and when we call in the instructions in the instructions we're gonna grab the position um, we're gonna grab the speed which are reference of what we're declaring here the mouse position and the speed and then the timer is gonna start because that's the moment when the bullet is gonna be moving and then the speed is gonna be multiplied by the vector right that's the most standard way to move a bullet in Godot it also comes with the rotation but we're not gonna use it in this video but it's good to to have it like this because if you wanna use it later you can just reuse this code um, once, once it's set to inactive the set process is false that means that this is gonna be um, it's gonna be pause it's not gonna be moving and when the timer as I mentioned it runs out it's gonna be inactive okay so if we run this gonna be able to see all the bullets being grabbed from the pool and then they are placed here without any performance issue well this is really good it helped me a lot on my game and I hope that can help you guys as well at last I want to correct something really quick here because what happened with this this is good but this line here is not really good it's better to call it within the bullets so basically here we're gonna grab get parent dot available bullets so available pool append self that means that it will automatically append once they are inside the game and then okay it's gonna be on ready and also when they go inactive they are gonna be available again else when they are inactive I mean when they are active that means that they are being used so yes this one's gonna work well actually it will work just like this without this line and let's run the game again as you can see it's still working and now there shouldn't be any problem with it because we are and we were doing it before the way we were doing it before what happened with that is that at some point because we are not renewing the available pool 
we're gonna run out of bullets so with this very refreshing and everything is in a cycle so we grabbing the active bullets then inactive bullets and then it's just running spinning around like a recycle system I hope this video helped a lot and um, yes thank you so much for watching